Murphy's Farm at the Warrigal, Gippsland Days. That's the hemp. Compulsory breed. We'll grow to 20 feet. But this is a power consuming element. And we want to know how power consuming if we're going to achieve it. Con, this is my brother Tony. Yep. He is. Now, what's, what I'm trying to get for Adrian here, just to be able to show Con, is some of the ultra fine stuff off the inside. We have our suspicions. That stuff yes. is as fine and valuable as super fine merino wool. Yeah, right. yes. But that's something that just isn't in the literature at all. Yes. Yep. Because if you look at that, well, fiber, it's, it's fine, right? It's really fine. Tough. Tough. That's several fibres I'm holding there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the end of it. Yeah. There's not much of it. No. But but that, that one million dollars of bales made so many people sit up and take notice. Twentieth <laughs> <laughs> of November put in, so that's about six weeks. Most quick, doesn't it? Oh my god. So they don't call it the weed for <laughs> so nothing. If it grows too quick, does that upset? No, 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 no. quicker the better. No. Quicker the better, right? It doesn't yeah. matter. As far as we're aware. Now that that's that's what I want to be able to, to operate right. on. Well, should we set up and Yes, we'll set up. I want to be able to operate on it initially within one minute of cutting it. Yeah. And this one, what's the time now? Okay, then two to seven about minutes of the 30 minutes cut. from now. The glues in here, depending on how hot it is, you glue this to this. Yes. Set. Ah, right. Yep. If you can do it. So it ceases to be easy to take apart. I, I find this year, as soon as you cut it, it starts to wilt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's Go really on. quick. Yeah. It's so like cut flowers. you want to do some of the other down here? With different yeah, we'll, we'll do. Rather than this, this will be We'll, we'll have, do some of this. Have a look. And we'll do some of that down there. I'll show you this. Yeah. You can see what our conditioner is going to do to that. Yeah. And it's going to, it's going to be really hard to take off. <laughs> it just comes off like this now tomorrow. Let's go down. That white pig to that white pig there. Yeah. Oh, Futura. Yep. Uh, Futura. When we come up again, we'll be able to now, what's this? We'll probably do that today. We can't take it away, can we? Uh, what we want to do is, is to take it out and have a look at it. Felina. Right. Okay. So, now, in that short time, is that as good as you. Oh, what about is, what you've grown yourselves? This is one. This is, this is as good as the best we grew. Is it? Yeah. yeah. In, in, in that time. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And that really indicates you can grow this stuff anywhere in Victoria, doesn't it? As long as it's got good watering and good soil. Okay. Well drained soil. It's as high as 20 feet. 20 feet it, it, can, it can get to 20 feet if it's a really. You know, what thickness of stem would it have to grow that? Oh, it's about that. Thick. An LCD. Hold itself up. Yep. Will it come out on. That, that there, because mm -hmm. it's grown so quick, will it come out and seed fairly soon, do you reckon, or not? Uh, yeah. It's hard to know. It, the thing that dictates whether it's going to go to seed or not is its sensitivity to the shortness of the day. Tony? What is it? Well, that's what I want to know. The more concentrated, a bug. the better. That's a bug. Um, well, that's so the farmer. Really? Yeah. Is, is, yep. is industrial hemp? Um, yes, we have. We usually don't know what it is. That's a March fly, isn't it? No. No, no, no. no, 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 no fly. Some sort of wasp or hornet. Mm. It's a saw fly. It's a variety of saw fly. Well, they do a dragonfly too, with a bit. The, um, the number of um, plants just dropped that? 
the number of plants per square meter at um, five meter squares right. with counts in the range 65 to 72 right. so four sevens yeah to 270 to, to 290 per square meter we would know that nope no no one here but it's the fact that it hasn't branched out like an ornamental tree shows that it's but it, but it was very fine, fine. spray Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, in Usually KP, you'll lose that. Um, right. Fertilised. Decorded and cut green. And fairly yep. precision drill. You'll lose all of that. Yeah, what, what, was so, it, what did you plant it with? I don't know what they planted it with. I was in on that. Where was that? That was a bright. Or near bright. This is my brother-in-law. Robert. How do you do? Brother-in-law. Chaz. Chaz, how are you going? Good to meet you, Charlie. Charlie, you didn't meet me. No, Charlie, you're on. Yeah. Thank you, Chaz. We made a conscious yeah. effort of and um, cutting down by about oh, a third the rate that we sowed it yeah. last year because right. we thought the concentration limited the growth of the plants. Yeah. What we would still do? like to get a planter that would plant them more precision. Like well, what you were talking about. Our yeah. original design, Chaz's original harvester it's design, more was like to have them planted it. three inches apart, so we had a three inch grid. Yeah. And then you had a harvesting system, but, but we've, we've, we've abandoned that idea because of the it was too accurate, it required too much accuracy. Yeah. For, yeah. For, now it's random, more or less. We, we can right, cope yeah. with it random part yeah. of it, but we'd like it to be reasonably close, just so that the stalks go up high before they leave a much reef structure. But not, we've got to get rid of those leaves on the way into the machine. And when they're down low here, they seem to be oh, almost, yeah. almost, almost easily just knocked off. Yeah. But when they get up at the top, they're re relatively strong. They hang on. But, uh, the, the cutting, unfortunately, is not happening like that. Yeah. If, 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 if we'd have it like that, it would have be, been better. But because it's being pulled into the machine and it's going past the cutters, it's going to get cut like that. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but we've got to cope with that. I don't think, I don't think, we, can, I don't think we can dodge that. We may be able to use a, a rolling cutter instead of a, instead of a stationary one. Just, just on, on the question... It's around... It's around um 110 per square metre. So it's uh, it's only about half of what I've previously said. It's, like, it's not like it's a tenth or anything like that. So as you said, when you cut back by a third, you cut, cut back from somewhere near two thirds of what they were using to down to about half. When you're planting the seed, by the way, these stalk diameters, like Dad, okay. in here, see the. The agronomists tell us that the so first flowers, two get, heights of the plant in from the edge, you get a roll off <coughs> and you get two or three more branches meters. and you get bigger you're stalks yes. and as you come you in as from as the edge as you, can, you get you steady right. so from about twice the height of the plant more, in thin. through the rest of the crop. Well, it's more, well, it's much, much more regular. Yeah, right, Everything's right, more yeah, parallel. Right. Sizes yes, are more can. precise. You do get down the bottom, you do get a small number of yeah, odds and sods going no, down the don't, bottom. You don't want light getting down. Yeah, well that's what you're saying yeah. now. See, what you I find here because these will is down at the ground level. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Yep. And, and this, this doesn't appear to be hemp. No, that's right, it's not. No. No weeds. And, uh, no. and the weeds no. can't cope yeah. if the planting is a bit more dense. Yeah. Because you get too much shade. Yeah. But you see, what happens is, when you get it very uh, dense, you don't get branches yeah. on, the bottom. Yeah. on the bottom half of the plant because they yellow off and die. Yes, yep. So that's just normal. So that's normal. Yeah. You want them to yellow off and die everywhere from the bottom 60 so you, to 70% of the plant. So you, like that. you want them like that, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, with some varieties, you get, you just don't get anything yeah. to there. You don't get those leaves. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't have them. And of course, the less leaves there are, the less discontinuities you get in the fibre. So all you get is, is this sort of look to the to the stalk, and this is much more smooth and appropriate. <coughs> but you do in the top half, top third, you do get a range of them. Now, what I'd like to do, with your permission, is to cut about 20 stalks of about that size, and that's going to be very representative of the sort of thing we're going to end up with. This this is a cut them and put through your machine. Yeah, we'll run through the machine in, in sequence. Yep. We'll measure the power it takes to actually do the decortication. We'll make sure that as we run the speed up to 3,500 RPM, we don't get any unfortunate developments. The machine will run to that, but, but will the crop go through it that fast? Or will it tear the end off it? Will it feed in? We've done it, all of that with 
dried and rehydrated plant, but that's right. A dried and rehydrated plant, you can't do what I'm doing at the moment. Oh yes, right. It just it just does not does not happen. No, that's no. This is for that man. This is a different variety. And then along comes the machine that cuts and bundles it. You see what happens with the with the other stuff is that. That just doesn't happen. Oh, right, eh? yeah. It's like someone glued it on with that when you weren't looking. Yes, yeah. Bloody yeah. Yeah. So you've got to tear it off. Yeah. Well, do you want to cut a few? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and right. Because Terry's going to go and we'll cattle. Right, yeah. You know, he has to milk. I'm just sure, well, if you, if you did tell me, he would see you. Yep. Want to see what we're up to. as if by magic. Alright then, <laughs> we'll say that again. <laughs> They're waiting for the food to come out of the trailer because that's what they know. <laughs> Sorry boys, you're not going to get any. Don't get upset about it. <laughs> well, I don't think you can feed them the hemp because not even the goats will eat the hemp. <laughs> as I can for our fibre tests, but we won't have a, a, a production machine to do that, it will be mainly single or screw up to 10. And this is the little machine now. Oh it's also going to get a great deal more numerous. Yes, yeah, so it's smaller, faster and more numerous next time round. Ten times as many. Yeah. 
down to my ribs. And it, it, it almost comes off as easy as, 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 as we did the green crop, but they can't handle the green crop apparently. As long as I held it, 50 years they tell us the engineers have been trying to find a way of doing that by machine, and we've struck it. You can't believe it. You can't believe it, can you? I don't understand. Now what we're going to do? We've got film. And we're going to and, and see the way the photos too, so that's going to be the herd runs out of the end. Of it. So there's none. Yes. So what we don't decorticate okay. in the last oh, 100 millimetres is a yeah, little seen, less uh, field test. Uh, Graham, you, you've, you've got to keep the camera fast. We need <laughs> photos of some steam before, and photos of after, and get to take them. But, uh, and we'll get when they're developed. When I come up again, I'll get uh, I can't Colin and Terry to. Uh, I can't believe how fast it wilts. It's a sign it's that, it's been, that they're the first, real record. The first minute or two, it's, it's rigid. And then it's. Okay, then. Pathetic. But when it's running through there fast, it didn't double back. No. It went straight through. Yeah. So it's just quite, quite likely that the inertial effects are significant. Well, what are we photographing here? Right, well, what I'd like to do is while it's running flat strap but in, in that there... That will involve slow film. No, I've got Robert, six shots left on the first film. There film. are photos yes. for patent purposes, ah, right. and there are photos for your purposes. Originally, it, initially, first. if we can just do this and then... This is the wrong film for what I want no, to this do. Is the, yeah, that's right. So you're getting to do what you so want to do. So if, and if you, you, what we need is a photo of a stem. Oh, no, well, this stem is as good as any. Yeah. And, and then it's been cut the in half. Of the bits that come out the other end. I think it wouldn't be at all inappropriate right, to have a 1998 diary and that, and definitely not. Uh, So this one does not include the cutter, which is why we're busy cutting them in half at the moment, so that they can go straight through for decortication. And the one on the drawing board will have the automatic cutter, so as soon as they're picked up off the field, they can be cut and put straight through. This, this process which I'm carrying out is is already satisfactorily done within the second prototype machine. Yeah. It's only that this compact, portable, small third prototype machine is testing other aspects of the performance. Oh, the, sorry, it's... Uh, Robert, where's yep. the splitter element that we had? In the boot. It's the more convenient one of these. At the same time, we are obtaining quotations and finalising the design of one that is 10 wide. And that's the current build intention. One ultra-fast, low-cost trial unit, more sophisticated than this. For experimenting with different yeah. It's all entirely, it's entirely the, built inside three inches. Then the ten. Because that's why we sort of thought the maximum stalk would be ideal. Yeah. We thought we were going to expect you to actually plan it, but now we've got to take random now with the equipment we've got. Yes. It doesn't have to be especially three inches, except for the sake of the crop. Yeah. Yeah. The machine can handle it no matter what. Now. Once it starts to move, of course, it'll be all over the papers too. That's the point. But at the moment, we have, we, it's been kept quiet because the government's not prepared to help us. I was going to ask, how, how are you finding the government over the last few months? They're interested, but they're, they're in spring spring mostly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the government has been absolutely terrific. I made a deal with them three years ago when I first proposed that, that we grow hemp. They said, if you can prove that it doesn't turn into marijuana, that you've got a market, and that it'll grow in most of Victoria, we'll let you grow it commercially. And, and then, we set up, then we set up the, 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 the uh, testing scheme, 
and we proved those three things and they have now passed the bill. Oh. Without so much as a yep. twitch, really? Well, that article there. in the Herald Sun, yep. it, it's got to stir up a lot of interest. Yeah, oh, yes. and there was a TV article last night on, what was that show? Channel 9. Just after the advertising, yeah. yeah. It, it, the it, other thing that's been of that, 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 side a interest furniture. is the, the other thing that's of side interest is the suggestion by Monty Safern of Swinburne University, as a friend of mine, that um, that the core may be a useful source for for brewing and distilling ethanol for transport fuel. Yeah. That's yeah. not the sort of value that we're looking at here. But it's a nice little extra. Nice little something, please. Yeah, yeah. Get it throwing away the pith, you yeah. save it up like no, mad. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to run 10 of these through and see what happens. All right, yeah. oh, so the Do you want to run one through five first and I'll we'll photograph it as it's going well, through? Yeah, we'll make even the fine juices. Yes, yes, yes let's run, yeah, run through made. slow. Yeah, 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 slow and you photograph it. Probably the fibre. Will you drive the drill? Yep. Well, before we do Matt, that, give you a turn on the power point. Do do? Just hold it up. I'll do the power point. And you can't break it between your fingers. Yeah. Well, we've got together. 
don't want it to go down there without going through the decorticator. Oh. Yes. Quite so. That's it's quite successful, isn't it? You, yes, you want it to be successful. So it slides yeah. down that yeah. platform. And but then you can't, can't miss being so smashed into the But you can't, but you that can't is peel it off the decorticator. Hmm. Yes, because the decorticator is not continuous. I'm intending to put in that, that cut that I've made, you know. That, 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 that shaves. No, that's a long way further down. That's after the. <laughs> you see, what I, what I perceive is this. It yeah, yeah, yeah. comes through here. That's right. And it meets, it meets so what do you need to the do? hump guide. You need to take the machine right. arm and do a bit more. Right. Oh, well, th right. this, that, one, that this one has really been obsoleted already by a new design that we have, yeah. where, where these right. things catching right. won't happen so because it's, it's, on it's, it's only mounted on one side, not both. What our goal today is. When we, when we actually finish setting it up, is to measure the energy it takes to do these. So we know how much energy has to be transferred through power takeoffs, and whether we need 100 horsepower or 50 horsepower to do whatever. That's what we've got to establish today. So the new machines that are on the door and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our design is so totally this, this open sided. Open the side. <laughs> anything at all gets stuck. To start with, it will be designed in such a way that the likelihood of anything getting right stuck is, this stuff comes is in minimal. Here. Yeah. And you must I mean, this, this is a machine we, now, we've been now, running with a handle. Yeah. Yeah. Now the doing two, it in the absolute slow motion yeah. to check all the principles the that are going on inside. Were much, much closer together. What, um, what sort of speed can you get out of a. So, my feeling is motor. you want to have the, oh, I don't know. the stalk what go straight across. What sort of speed across. can you get out of a hydraulic motor? Huh? 3,500 3, RPM. Right. Well, what are you operating that machine at? 3,100. But then you've got to work out how much oil flow you're going to need to power 10 units. You see, that might be your, your problem. Yeah, mind you, a, a hydraulic drive is not one of the cheaper forms no, of drive. No, no. Other end of the scale. Yeah. yeah, but then your mechanical drive operating 10 of those machines is a lot of moving parts. Yep, it is. And However, if they are suitably reliable and robust and prove to be so, and they've got a service life of 10,000 hours, and they're cheap to replace yeah, if you right. drop a brick in it, yeah. And if we demonstrate the robustness of this by putting a piece of fence wire through it, yeah. and then a hemp stalk, yeah. and, it, and it decorticates after we put the fence wire through it, yeah. then we'll have been very clever. Yeah. But that's one of the things we're going to try to do. So that's why you've got the spring-loaded top piece on there, so it'll... Yeah. Although that's oh, not that's the right. way we're intending yeah, to go I know, in the future, exactly, principle. but that sort of coping strategy. Yeah. Right. I should be able to put the floors with you. No, they're no. putting air guard on, so they're not hovering around Adrian anymore, they're around us. It's all right, I'm used to the buggers. Well, what I can do is I can find out very easily. <laughs> Isn't isn't filling now at all. So it's 
still clear. So look, if the crest there was running and the apple there, it was zip, zip, zip. And I try and drop from the Compulty being prepared, watered weekly and watered yesterday. And what's the time now? It's um, quarter past four on the 7th of January, Wednesday the 17th. For the non circular stalk, 50 millimetres from a cut, 50 millimetres above the ground. Mm. Varies from 8.7 millimetres to a maximum of 9.4. Mm -hmm. And 900 millimetres further along the same stalk, the diameter varies from a minimum, that is the dimension, between flat anvils varies from a minimum of 7.1 millimetres to a maximum of 8.3 and the stalk is commonly 1.1, 1.2 metres long to a minimum dimension at the end of this piece, which is not the end of the plant, of about 4.2 millimetres. <coughs> what I propose to do is to split this in half as accurately as possible and to run two trials on the same material from the same stalk. Mm -hmm. One at a low RPM and one of the high RPM so that we can get some idea of the the variation of torque with speed if there is any. My suspicion is that there won't be much variation of torque with speed but I'm very curious to know if there is and I also need to know the approximate power levels that we are consuming. Now, you make a note that this one was cut approximately an hour ago, and that there is there's visible evidence of drying. Have a look at that, right? What? See how white it is? And how relatively stiff it is? It's gone through the wilty stage, and this thing's getting quite, quite crisp.
Evening setting. I thought we should get a shot down here. Near way up there. Is it nicer for you if we run at slightly lower speed? I don't mind. No, I'm not bothered. A couple of stops down in case one of the flat trap. Faster the better. <laughs> last time we were here. Yeah, with turn Hamish. on the power point. Last time we were here with Amy, Amy said. Oh, oh God. God. Proper. What? Bloody flies. <laughs> Stuck like the Tasmanian one did. Yep. Okay. So we can't. Uh... Hang on. Oh, yeah. Alright. 
and then have fresh felina. And some of it goes through and some of it doesn't go through. And the, the less of it that quickly. goes through the decortication, Put it through the, the less machine. power we need to drive. Fly preferably. On your wrist. No, 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 no. Pick, pick out oh. that broad one there, Nick, on your wrist. Well, not any of those. This one, one of those. Pick out that big one. Well, I like that trick. Hang on, hang on. Well, don't you pick a broad one out? No, don't take them on those, they're in order. They're in order. I'm afraid this film is just too slow for this. Oh, you're going to slow filming for taking close ups. This is everybody at the hemp field and I'm coming over here to join them. Because I can. Because <laughs> the thing is running. And we're all at the hemp field. And there are lots of flies. And there are lots of flies. And there's been lots of activity here. Yeah. 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 Now I've been reminded that I must take a, some more photo of these steers. Hi, Cal. Okay, Thanks, You can just close that gate. Yep. Sure. Futura. Gonna try Futura, cut about five minutes ago. See how it goes. Did that give up? Good on you, sweetheart. I'm standing.
see the ant man go in. Come on. We're here with our camera. Let's see him at work. Didn't turn his power point off either. I want me to take it, do you? Okay. The leaves came off, but something got stuck in the machine. One of the leaves got stuck, which then the next one was guided wrongly.
there's a lot of it there. There's a lot of it over here. I can still take some leaves off and these them. Thank you. 